it's lunchtime and I'm taking the dogs out and here's what's going down. Monday to everyone and I'm in lunch at the moment and I thought what better opportunity than to take Marty out for a free run no one around so it's pretty good compared to yesterday when I was trying to go out for a free run there were so many people so how do I keep my guide dog fit this is exactly how I do it regular walks and although we are in a national lockdown here in England I'm still able to get out and do my exercise as well as free run here. And I think it's really important to make sure that your dog is getting that exercise, uh, in my opinion, um, as well as probably many other people's opinion across, um, well, the country, making sure that your dog always has good exercise. Um, but it's, it's not too bad in terms of the weather. So I wanted to kind of come out before it was scheduled to rain. You never know with the weather these days, but they said it was going to rain at 3 p.m. So I wanted to take him out during lunch to give him that time to well, have some release of energy. But also I wanted to get out because I've had a really busy day of working this morning on the computer. One thing I get asked a lot is, does your guide dog remember routes during lockdown? And I would say, yes, he does, because I make sure that he has a mixture of work and downtime. And I think that's really important, a really good balance to make sure that your dog is also remembering how he works as a guide dog, those commands and how you actually engage with them when out working, but also allowing them that downtime to be a dog like he is now, running around in his natural environment, having the time of his life. And that for me is crucial because I think it really does make for a happy dog doing the work that he really loved doing but equally having that time to run around and sniff and just be Marty. Another thing people ask is can you take your guide dog out as many times as you like for things like animal welfare and the answer is no not really at least not in England, because remember, we've got to do it in the spirit of things. Now, having your daily exercise and incorporating it with your dog's free run or walk is what I do. Uh, I can't speak for everybody else, but personally, I want to limit the time that I'm out socialising in amongst people when they're walking or in shops and that sort of thing. It's important to play games with them because they love to be able to find whatever you're throwing, whatever toy they really enjoy. And even in the home, you can do simple things around the home. What I've done a lot of is actually hiding some of their kibbles in and around the home because they love to find things. Marty and Sammy, they go ballistic in trying to find little kibbles that I've hidden. So things like that are really good. You can get snuffle mats where you can hide food in and that sort of thing. So again, it's really important to keep your dog stimulated when not able to get out as much as you used to be able to do. If you think about it, lockdown has been great for all dogs, not just guide dogs, because people are at home more. So the animals are really feeling loved, cherished, and they get all the attention and nurture they need. What could be better? It's really important to get out and have fun with the dogs, with you, combine it for mental health, physical health. And on that note, I'm going back to work. Stay safe, guys.